In this episode, I'm going to give you five tips if you're just getting started on social media when it comes to growing your business. This is so powerful if you want to start leveraging the power of your laptop and the internet and you really want to take your business with you around the world or wherever you might be. Or you might just want to stay at home and work in your PJs. And just to give you a little tip on how powerful this is for your business, I enrolled 150 two new teammates into my network marketing business in less than 90 days. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 195. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly, designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource together for you and your business each and every week. Oh yeah, and don't forget to always check the show notes below that go with this episode because I leave a bunch of other awesome, cool resources that go with the topic of the video that will help you in your business. So go check those out right after the episode. So tip number one, pick your platform and stick to it until you master it. I cannot tell you how many times people come to me and say, Tanya, Do I need to be everywhere? Do I need to be on LinkedIn? Do I need to be on Instagram, Facebook? Do I need to be everywhere? The answer is not when you're just getting started. Pick one platform and master it. Now, if you're not too sure what platform is best to choose for you and your business, I did an episode back on episode 134 on what platform to pick that's best for your business. Now, all businesses are different, so you might wanna go and check out that episode after this one, and I'll link to it in the show notes for you. Tip number two. Write down five categories of interests that you can revolve your topics around on that social media platform. Now, just to make this fun and easy for you, it doesn't have to do anything with your business. It's just five areas of interest that you have. Because remember, you have to build a relationship with your people before you're gonna make any sales. And so you want to relate to them. And also, you wanna show up every day consistently on social media. You are not gonna have a good old time doing that unless you are talking about the things that interest you and naturally you will attract like people to you, your brand and your business. So take a piece of paper out right now and write out five different categories or topics of interest that you could talk about. I'll give you a couple of examples that you can uh, create ideas or topics or posts around. So you might be faith-based, so you might have faith be a topic of interest. You might be a dog lover and maybe specifically a certain type of dog. I have a friend that loves bulldogs and so their posts revolve sometimes around their love for bulldogs and their bulldogs. So bulldogs might be a topic of interest or just dogs in general so people can relate to you um, as another dog owner or dog lover. Maybe you like alternative medicine or natural wellness. That could be a topic of interest. Maybe traveling or food is a topic of interest for you. Lifestyle could also be a topic of interest. Maybe you're into running or yoga. What are five things that you get excited to talk about or would get excited to talk about on social media consistently to build a relationship with your audience? Now I'm gonna give you tip number three, four, and five in a minute, but if you tune in each week, you know on every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, I like to equip you with a free resource that you can use in your business. Now over the years, bringing the people to you on social media is half the battle. You've gotta know exactly how to convert those people once they come to you into sales or new teammates for your business. So how are you specifically doing that? Do you have a process? Do you have a system for that? Now I'd like to share with you mine. And over the years of working my business, I use one simple Facebook group to enroll teammates and new customers like clockwork. And this has been working so well that I wanna show you exactly how and what we are doing in our team. This is a generic training that I have that you and your team can plug into and learn exactly how we are closing the people that come to us 
through our social media efforts. And this is all done via our computer, via one simple Facebook group where you can employ this strategy anywhere in the world and you don't have to spend hours on the phone or even seconds on the phone with anybody because it's all done through Facebook. So if you'd like to see exactly what it is that we're doing using this one free Facebook group and a couple tips that I have, I've got a free training going on right now where you can join us and I'll show you exactly what it is that we're doing. So if you'd like to get your hands on that training that we have going on right now, all you need to do is go to tanyaeliza.com forward slash 195 and request a time for that training that you want to tune in. I don't know how long I will be doing this training for or keeping it free. So make sure that you tune in and you get access to that so you can know how to use these tips to not only bring people in, but also convert them into new teammates and customers. I'll leave a link for you to go and register in the description area below this video as well. But the direct link is tanyaeliza.com forward slash 195. Tip number three, you have to schedule out your posts weekly and you have to do daily posts, okay, to work the algorithm on social media. And it doesn't matter what social media channel you're using, you need to show up consistently every single day with something. So we use the built-in Facebook scheduler. There's also tools like Post Planner Pro where you can schedule out your social media posts for the entire week in less than one hour. And so you might want to time block maybe Sunday night and sit down and do your seven posts for the week schedule it all out and then set it and forget it. So the resource Post Planner Pro, I'll leave that in the show notes for you also to go and check out. It's a uh, scheduler for social media that you can use, but you can also use the built-in scheduler if you're using Facebook. Tip number four, do lives. Okay, so you guys, Facebook Live or Instagram Live, whatever platform you've chosen to build and focus on and master when it comes to your business, you have to be showing up at least once a week live. So that's why I do my Tuesday with Tanya live episode on my Facebook page, because right now, especially with Facebook and with Instagram, actually, they're favoring lives. Like Facebook wants more people to be doing lives. And so that means that when you go live, Facebook is showing for free your content and your video out to more cold market audiences, people who are most likely to engage with that topic, but who don't know you bringing more people to you. So make sure you are taking advantage of this incredible free opportunity that we get right now. So do lives to build your brand and to build your business and to get in front of more of the right people. If you don't know how to do Facebook Lives, or maybe you're a little bit scared to do Facebook Lives, I'll also leave in the show notes my Facebook Live checklist, and it's what to do before, during, and after your Facebook Live to get the most engagement and results from the lives that you're doing. Number five, be consistent, okay? I want you to also be prepared for nobody, if you're brand new, just getting started, be prepared for nobody to pay attention to you. But if you are consistent and you keep showing up no matter what, each and every day, each and every week, you will grow your audience. People are watching you, so give them something good to watch. But don't feel bad if in the beginning people just aren't showing up or aren't engaging. I was once there too where no one was on my lives. Well, I think maybe my mom was on my lives. She's a great supporter of what I do, but nonetheless, Keep showing up. It will grow, but you have to, like anything, be very consistent with it and be prepared to keep showing up even if nobody is showing up for you in the beginning because one day they will show up if you're consistent. So be consistent no matter what. Now remember, getting people to get engaged with you and for you to start growing your business online and have people raise their hand and say, hey, I'm interested in what it is that you're doing is only half the battle. You've got to know exactly what to do with those people to convert them into a sale for you and your business. So remember, we have a free training going on right now, which is absolutely incredible. It's probably one of the incred most incredible trainings I have where I show you how we're using one simple Facebook group 
for free, mind you, to recruit teammates and new customers like clockwork. Please, if this training is going on when you're watching this video and you can access it, get your hands on it because it is that powerful for you and your business. You can get access to the training over at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 195. Again, I'll leave a link below this video in the description area where you can click to go get access to that. Question of the week. Did you start using social media right away to grow your business or did it take a little while for you to warm up to the idea of using social media to grow your business? I'm curious to know how you got started or where you're at. Drop me a comment and join the conversation below. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I really hope you did. If you did, make sure to share this with your team so that they know how to get started on social media as well. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I'd be most grateful that you did. And I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.